Hi guys, and welcome to this class on Quadraw. Quadraw is a fantastic my tool that we use to retopologize our meshes. Topology simply means the way that the mesh flows around the object. And uh, having this mesh really nice and clean is one of the ways that we can get really clean meshes that are ready to animate and texture. So we use the Quadraw on virtually all of our models. It's a, a really core sort of a tool when it comes to joining and getting those sculpts back from other programs. And also just, it's really handy for modeling tasks in general. So this page is more dedicated to the basics. It's not a how to build characters. It's just how to use the Quadraw in its pure form. We're gonna go through a lot of different techniques and workflows and, and little tips that will have you understanding Quadraw on a, a really nice basis so that when we go to the other tutorials, we don't have to explain the Quadraw in so much detail. So this is a really great get started page. I hope you enjoy. So now let's just go through some of the sections that are on this page. And this is the first one, and this is the section that will really get you up to speed with all the Quadraw functionality. We're gonna go through this in quite a bit of detail. I think it's about 20 minutes long, and it just goes through all the different tools and the ways that you can interact with Quadraw, including cutting, deleting, relaxing, and creating in various ways. We also go through a little bit of multi-cut, so this is a really fantastic starter to Quadraw. All right, and in this next section, we're gonna go through snapping and symmetry. So you'll wanna see how you can easily snap your meshes to the live mesh. And we'll see how sub D surfaces don't really work so well with Quadraw and the workarounds that we've got for that sort of a workflow. You'll also see symmetry and we'll sort of note how we don't use the native symmetry too much. It slows Quadraw down generally. So we have our own little workarounds for that. And this section is a really good one. It's when all the tools that we've learned so far sort of come together into one distinct workflow. We're gonna retopologize the shell here and it's really, really easy. And this is because we're gonna work in a little bit of a very broad way and then cut in and then use the relax tools to really quickly get that shell retopologized. You'll see how fast this can be with all of these tools now. And at the end of this section, we've got a little nice tip here for controlling visibility with animated keyframes on the timeline and you can toggle the meshes between the base mesh and the high res really, really easily and nicely with this method. So it's pretty noticeable when you get into very high mesh counts on your base mesh that Quadraw can slow down. And in this demo, even though we're in the very low polygon counts on our base mesh here, we're going to demonstrate how to work in patches with your polygon meshes. So that's how to break up your meshes into different parts and keep your polygon counts down. Because if you can keep your polygons counts down, then you're gonna have a very responsive, fast Quadraw. And then we're going to explore the GPU cache. So the GPU cache is when your live mesh is very, very high in the polygon counts. We're talking sort of millions of polygons here. You can GPU cache out your mesh, bring it back in again, and it's a way of keeping Maya really responsive. And Quadra also works without the live mesh at all. So this is just a tagged little video there to show you how that works. And the very last section, we're gonna go through the final Quadra options, which includes setting the way that the mesh looks in the viewport and also some conform and snapping preferences. So sub D meshes tend to suck in a little bit. So by having a mesh offset there, we can help those out a little bit. And conform is really handy. You can snap any sort of meshes. You don't have to snap the whole mesh. And we'll just go through some of the final options here in the marking menu, lots of little tips and ways that you can use the quad draw. And that'll pretty much finalize it there, guys. So I hope you enjoy. That is the page on quad draw fundamentals.